In this video, we'll see the introduction parts of uh, projection. So what is really a projection is, and then how we could uh, project different surfaces will be uh, discussed in a uh, highlight way. So uh, for example, if we have such types of uh, object, assume this is a car. So for this car, let's just project or let's just sketch its uh, layout with the principles of a projection here. So, uh, for example, if this is a projection, and then if you want to sketch the features of this car on this paper, assume this is a paper, so we can just use uh, different uh, corner pointers here to project it, and then all those pointers will be projected into the surface just like this one. So every corner pointers will be projected in this way, so once you project them, you will try to sketch them. So this is just this lines are called lines of projection, that means they are emitted from the object and then uh, pass to uh, the uh, working plane or, or the working paper just like this one. So these lines are called line of uh, projection. And then this paper, or it might, it might be or also the other uh, media, but uh, this is called also a plane of projection. So you call it as a plane of projection. That means how we just skate that object into uh, this plane. So once we do this, uh, we can uh, simply sketch the main features of uh, this car, so it might be like this. So once we sketch that, uh, we can get main features of uh, this car, but we have to understand that uh, just projection means uh, converting the uh, 3D objects into a 2D uh, media or into a 2D plane just like this. As you see here, this is, this, this is a paper and it is a two-dimensional uh, paper. So we are just uh, trying to sketch that uh, 3D modeling into this uh, to the uh, paper. So the projection is just like this. Now when we make the paper to be parallel with the screen, it might be in this way. So finally we'll have such types of a sketch. That means the 3D modeling can be sketched into a 2D system with 2D plane just like this one as we discussed. So uh, the other thing, for example, if we have such types of 3D object and then if you want to project or express its view from different direction, so how we could implement it will be discussed later. So assume this is a given object and then to make it clear, let's differentiate the color of the surfaces into different color. For example, if the front view is painted with a yellow and the top of the two surfaces are with a green and then the right side view, that means when we are looking from the right part, the two planes are painted with a blue color then once we do this just let's project the views from different direction assuming that are using a camera so to do that assume this is our plane of projection uh, like it's a prism box so it will be a transparent prism box and then we can see every features inside that box and then when we just take a photo or a shoot from the front direction we can see only this surface that means the front surface which is uh, painted with a yellow color and then it will be a front view so in this case this is a front view and then the other one when we look just from the top and then take that pattern we'll see the upper two surfaces that means painted with a green so the two surfaces will be just projected in this way and then we can see the two surfaces with just having one common boundary just like this one because we can't see the other plane like painted with the yellow color or with a blue color and then the other one when we are just looking this part from the right side view or if our camera is arranged from the right side view then we can see the two surfaces which is painted with blue and then the two surfaces can be projected into this way and then we can get all the views, that means the necessary view, the principal, we call them as a principal view. The three views can be just sketching over the three planes on the front, on the top, and the side view will be placed in this way. It will be very simple if you just uh, imagine that the, this is as a house or any building. And then if, the, if you just take the shoot from the building in this side, it will be a front view. And then if you just take a photo from this direction, it will be just like a right side view. And then when you take it from the top part, so it will be the top view. So we can just simply understand that. So the projection of any object means that means converting that 3D object modeling into a 2D surface or a 2D plane just like this one. If you look over here, front view, top view, and side view are all 
the 2D plane or two dimensional object that can be expressed into X and Y direction, just simply this one. But previously, this was um, a 3D object that means it needs X, Y, and Z axis, so it's a three dimensional object. Projection can be parallel projection or perspective uh, projection. In a parallel projection, the projection line or the lines of projections which emit from the object will be parallel to each other when they are emit from that part and they intersect the plane of the projection. Let's assume this is our object and then we are trying to sketch the front views of this part. So when we try to do that, this is our uh, plane of projection and then the line of projections will be emit from the object in this way and then intersect this plane at this point. So once you get all this point, you can simply correlate all this with a line so finally you'll get the shapes of the object in this way that means when you are looking this object from this direction it will be a front view to make it clear you can see this as really modeling technique so the front view can be shown in this way this is just the isometric view or a three-dimensional view but when you rotate it into this way and then make it into the frontal position then you can get this shape so this is the parallel projection in the parallel projection the object surface and then the projector surfaces have the same size and the same shape but when you come to the perspective projection the line of projections are not parallel to each other instead of that they will emit from the object and then they will vanish in one common point so they will intersect at a common point assume this is our uh, projection plane that means we want to sketch the front views of this object into this plane so once you do that then you can project all the lines into this way and then they will intersect to each other at a common point so this is just a vanishing point so they will be intersect at this point so when you construct the views of that object from this direction, you'll get this shape. If you just look into this shape, that means painted with a blue, the previous one is with a green part, and then this dimension is diminished. That means it has a little bit lower size than the object had in the actual surface. So this is just the introduction parts of the projection. You might get plenty of videos related to the projection. That means projections of pointers, lines, or planes, or even multiple drawing, a pictorial drawing, or any type aspects of the drawing can be accessible in this channel. So if you just like the videos, you might like, share, and then you might subscribe our channel. It will help us just to improve the quality of the videos and to produce more lecture videos related to even the other subjects. So thank you for watching us. Yes.